I'm Peter, and I'm a singer and guitarist in the band Vader. And uh, actually, this is a uh, second Vanessa I have a pleasure to talk to. The first one was in 93 in uh, Copenhagen, and she was working for Headbangers Ball. So nice to meet you. Nice. <laughs> well, let's start out with your band's name. How did you guys? How did you guys decide on the name, and what's the meaning behind it? It's not a secret. Name sounds like Darth Vader, and so we took it from the movie, from the Star Wars, of course. So that was in, uh, in the 80s when we were looking for an inspiration for a good name for a band playing hard music, dark music. So, uh, we were so much impressed with the, especially uh, Darth Vader and uh, his, like, uh, his look and his heavy breath, his like, dark powers. So we found it like, perfect for a band like us playing metal. And uh, so that's the name it came from. And uh, so, of course, like uh, Dan has started to live in their own way. So Vader means not just like a person from a movie uh, where we t took it from. It's like our life and uh, all we do in our life now since so many years. All right. Well, how did you guys form and how long has your current line been together? So this is a pretty, uh, pretty fresh lineup. So we played together since uh, one half year or something. But the band starts in 83, so we're like over 25 years old. Just like I'm the original member, the only one who survived this all personal changes in the meantime. And, uh, but the music is still the same, same, exp uh, same uh, extreme, same heavy. You know? So it's all about Vader. We like band who play like uh, to like to play life, so we good on stage. So check us out tonight, by the way. Mm -hmm. How many releases have you guys put out? Too many. Keep in mind, I don't remember that. <laughs> it's like it's like some like a 15 or 20 together. Like you know, it's like we like you know, we became a professional band like after like third album appeared somewhere in like 95 or something. So we, we release like almost every year something, maybe not like a full length album, but like something like a mini album, or like live album, like a DVD or something. So we soon became a professional, so that's what we do in our life. So we focus on the music, that's what we do, this is our job, our life. So that's why we are able to, to record as many albums, so many albums now in all these years. Well, that's a good thing. Well, how many re well, well, I lied, just kidding. Um, what do you want your fans to know about your latest release? So, like, we're still Vader, and uh, we'd like a bit uh, remind the old, uh, old style of us, like the roots of Vader for the new generation. That's why the album called Necropolis, by the way, sounds a little bit like old stuff of us, but with a pretty fresh sound. It's like the it's a really good sound, uh, produced by um, uh, 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 to <laughs> It's like it, my memories get old. Like, get, uh, so this is like um, something new and in, uh, in our history. So we never worked with the producer before. So this is like a fresh, heavy, solid album. And uh, what can I say? Like I may just recommend it to all those who never ever had a chance to familiarize with Vader sound. So this is a good to start, by the way. Now, who were your musical influences growing up? No, actually when we started, so uh, the Vader was pretty much influenced by Judas Priest, Saxon, and all this uh, new ways of heavy metal, the British heavy metal sound. And uh, until uh, 84 when the new Slayer, like first Slayer came out that changed everything. So then we started to play faster, not just us, probably 98% of all those bands in the world. And, uh, but that was a big change. Uh, 88, uh, when Doc, our former drummer, joined the band, then we started to be really aggressive. And uh, the new, the first album came out in 93. And uh, then we started to follow, found our style. But you know, as I said, like Judas Priest and uh, Slayer, that's probably the milestones in the sound for, for Vader sound. Like. But before, Black Sabbath, that was probably the very first influence for me personally. So Sabbath changed my life, my soul, everything. 
What song do you think really gets the crowd going at most of your shows? It's hard to say because we, we got like a different song. So we're fast, so people know Vader as like, we're a fast band, but pretty heavy. So we know we're gonna be boring on stage, so we, we're fast, but we know just fast. So we got like some heavy stuff, we got some like middle tempo, groovy riffs. So, so we wanna be like interesting for, even for extreme guys, but I know that we not only you know, blast beating bands like, so we may play like two hours and uh, still fans like asking for more, so. <laughs> That means like, you know, we, we're musicians, you know, so we try still to do music, you know. Yeah. What can I say? Pretty evil, by the way. Now, what's your favorite song to play live? Mm, all of them. All of them. I don't have like a real favorite. I think that's like, for favorites, like you should ask like fans. They got different favorite songs, but I like all of them. They like my kids, you know, all of them. Good answer. No one has ever said that. Um, what is a must-have backstage for you guys? Can I come again? <laughs> like if you had a backstage. If. <laughs> <laughs> Not here, but if you had a backstage, like, what would is a must-have for you guys? Uh, you know, backstage is usually for us. It's like a privacy. That's a place we have a chance to prepare ourselves, to change, you know, and uh, to relax before before the show. You know, so. Usually we keep quiet in the backstage. Or sometimes after the show, we get some parties, you know, so like some friends coming up, so there's a big mass starting. But usually like before the show, this is like quiet place, just for us. So we try like to keep it away from fans or for friends, just to have a little bit, like a spot for us, you know, to prepare for the slaughter. <laughs> what do you want to say to all your fans watching you here on Rebel Access? For all those who are not afraid to confront us, I recommend to join us and in front of stage, on stage, whatever. Uh, Vader is uh, live bands. Metal is live, pretty much. And uh, I think it's the best uh, what we can do to stay on stage and to give energy to you guys. So check it out, check us out, and be tonight, be on tour. Check us out. Now, what's in the future for you guys? So actually, we on, uh, on a tour, which is like a promotional one for uh, for Necropolis, for the last album recorded. Now we're in the US. Um, after we come back to Europe, we have like a second part of European tour and a south part of Europe, starting in uh, January. Then we have a little bit break, and then we're coming back to stage with Overkill in April. And then we continue that in South America and uh, in Europe and the summer festivals. So I think that's going to be busy again, as usually, since years. What do you want to say to all those aspiring musicians that want to be where you're at today? Musicians? But no, keep practicing, be good. <laughs> well, you, do, huh? you do. Well, I'd like to thank you for coming on the show. That's my pleasure.